Welcome to AHA Science News. I'm Bob Bono. We're here in Chicago at the 2014 Scientific Sessions of the American Heart Association, and I'm delighted to be speaking with Dr. Anna Axelson from uh, Copenhagen, where she's a cardiologist at the Ricks Hospital, and currently doing a, a year or two of uh, advanced fellowship in the Simon Laboratory uh, in uh, Harvard at, in Boston. So that's going to be exciting for your career mm -hmm, as absolutely. well. Absolutely. Uh, but she's uh, presenting a interesting uh, important uh, randomized clinical trial in hypertrophic cardiomyopathy, appropriately uh, titled INHERIT. Um, Anna, can you tell us about the INHERIT trial? Yeah, absolutely. Uh, the INHERIT trial is a single-center randomized placebo-controlled trial where we inv investigate the effects of losartan uh, on hypertro in hypertrophic cardiomyopathy. Um, the primary endpoint is uh, left ventricular mass, the change in left ventricular mass for one year, over one year. So this is important because uh, it's not that uncommon a disease. It's mm. uh, one in 500 people, uh, as you know, and uh, we're lacking prospective randomized trials Absolutely. in this population. So mm. was this a difficult trial to enroll patients and to uh, uh, follow them? Well, it's, almost, it's always difficult to enroll patients when there are not so many. I mean, even if there are, if there's an estimated prelims of one in 500, we're not following that amount of patients that there should be. But I think um, most patients were very, very willing to, to enroll in the study, Good. so that was not hard. And why did you choose losartan? Um, well, it's the rationale for, use, for choosing losartan was that there are some uh, animal studies that suggest beneficial effects of, uh, of losartan. There are also some uh, pilot studies in humans suggesting effect of ARBs in general. Um, the Simon group has shown that if with treatment with losartan you can prevent the development of hypertrophy and fibrosis in a mouse model of, of, um, of uh, hypertrophic, uh, hypertrophic cardiomyopathy if you started before the development of, okay. of hypertrophy. Okay, so tell us how the trial played out and what you found. Well, we included 133 patients, randomized 50, 52 um, to losartan and placebo. Um, and the, for, as for the primary endpoint, left ventricular mass, there was a small decrease in both groups, but there was no difference between the groups. Over what period of time? 12 months. 12 months. Mm. And you were using MRI as well as... Yes, the primary endpoint was assessed with uh, actually with two different modalities, MRI uh, in most of the patients and CT in the patients that had an ICD. Okay. Of course, the MRI allows you to look at some other things too, yes, including we'll look the, fibrosis, which yeah. might be a, a target for those starting. Yeah, the fibrosis or late gadolinium enhancement yes, right. was well was uh, one of the secondary endpoints. Mm -hmm. and, um, and was there an effect there? No, we actually we, we didn't see an effect on any of the secondary endpoints. So mm -hmm. okay. also there was a consistency across the pre-specified subgroups, mm -hmm. because as hypertrophic cardiomyopathy is a very heterogeneous uh, disease, yes. um, we. We had pre-specified some subgroups, including young pe uh, people mm -hmm. in with a younger age. So, what was the mean so age? The mean age was 52 or 53. So, you did, mm. did include some older people. We did, yeah. yeah. We did not have an, an upper. Um, but, did, but there was no effect even in the in the younger people. Even in the younger, there are no effects. So, okay. so what's your take-home thoughts and your take-home messages and your next steps then? Well, um, I think that even if we did not see an effect on the primary endpoint, we learned some uh, important things from the trial. One of the things was that is losartan treatment with losartan actually appeared safe mm -hmm. in patients with hypertrophic cardiomyopathy, also with obstructive physiology, mm -hmm. where we otherwise have been maybe a bit cautious yes. with using losartan and other vasodilating. Uh, Medication, so that seems safe. I think that's a, uh, an important take-home message, and I think that we learned other things, important things from the trial, such as um, maybe uh, maybe left ventricular mass is a very ambitious uh, endpoint. There is a up an upcoming trial called the Vanish trial, yes. Valsartan. Yes. Um, so they are. Um, I'm very much looking forward to the result of the Vanish trial. Mm -hmm. I can hear you know. Well, it's also good to know that we actually can do these trials. Mm that uh, each center sees a small number of patients as you did. Perhaps we can collectively Absolutely. do some multi-center work together um, and uh, pool, pool our patients and therefore our data. Mm -hmm. uh, maybe one year is uh, too short a time yes. for a chronic disease like this. Or maybe, as you were saying from the beginning, we need to be treating people at mm -hmm. risk for this disease, maybe gene positive 
young people Absolutely. before they have hypertrophy. Mm. Are you planning a trial like that also? Well, I think we are. First of all, we're waiting for the Vanish trial. Yes. I think it would be maybe not so wise to start it before we mm -hmm. see what the Vanish trial okay. is. But uh, what lies in the future more than that, I, I think it's very important to get a better understanding of the, the mechanisms behind yes. the disease because we don't really know what, I mean, what lies behind the, the what causes the, the genotype to actually, um, that the people actually develop exactly. hypertrophy. So we don't know that. So maybe a particular gene Absolutely. target we could be going after, mm -hmm. but we need to, I guess, see how this plays out with time. Yeah. So, Keep up the good work. Uh, this is uh, Bob Bono uh, coming to you from AHA uh, Science News. I look forward to big things from you in the future, Dr. Axelson. Thank you.